Tempers are flaring in France with farmers burning tires, spraying government buildings with manure and shutting down roads leading into Paris. This as they demand better prices for their products and more government support. So joining me now from Paris is CBS News foreign correspondent Elaine Cobb. Elaine, what is going on? What's the latest? Anne-Marie, the farmers are determined to keep up their pressure on the government and they were up well before dawn on the roads blocking highways and access roads to Paris and to the city's Orly airport. Miles of tractors are blocking lanes or entire sections of motorway as they try to inch closer to the capital. Some blockades are now just 20 miles away from the city. There are police cordons all around Paris. The government has said the farmers won't be forced back but stress it's out of the question that they reach the capital. One of the places the farmers badly want to reach is the Rangis food market, where wholesalers, stores and restaurants go in the early hours to buy supplies. But they were turned back at the gates this morning. Among the farmers' complaints is that some big supermarket chains are undercutting them in order to offer cut price deals to shoppers. The government has already threatened to fine supply companies practicing unfair competition. The farmers are angry at increased taxes and European policies they say threaten their livelihood. They also want more concessions to combat rising costs of fuel and feed. This morning, most of those on the road said the new Prime Minister's address last night about his overall policies was all words, but no real promise of action. French farmers have been protesting for more than two weeks now, but the, the movement is spreading now across Europe to neighboring countries. Belgian farmers took to the streets as well to protest, and Spain says it will organize its own demonstrations, as many countries in Europe say their farmers are unhappy with EU policies and they want to act ahead of EU elections in June. Mm, Anne-Marie? Definitely something worth watching, Elaine. Thank you very much.